Hey everyone, a big hi from Skakplay here again. I hope you all had a great week and I'm really excited to welcome you back to the full gameplay walkthrough of Sniper Elite 4 and part 1 of its third single player campaign mission, Rigilino Viaduct. So please also do click on the link for part 2 at the end of the video to watch the full mission. And I hope you've been enjoying all my videos so far. I thank you for all your support and encouragement. Please keep those love, likes and subscribes coming. I'd really appreciate that. Alright, so um, we have some new skills here to upgrade. And we have uh, target focus speed or improved search. I think we're going to go for the target focus speed here because that's a better option. Alright, so let's get this on the way. My name is Lucio. Yeah, Lucio from the Ruined Castle. The angel got there in the nick of time. Yeah, she, uh, she saved us. She's uh, an angel of mercy, huh? Uh, judging by the number of dead fascists, I'd say uh, more like the angel of vengeance. <laughs> Maybe, but um, she only kills evil men, huh? <laughs> and uh, what about you? You only kill evil men? That, of course. <laughs> You did well to find me at the castle. So it was a test, to see if I'm committed to your cause. Our people were about to be executed. Past experience suggests we can't always rely upon the Allies. Is that what you want? A test? Try me. Very well. There is a railway gun parked on the viaduct. It's killed many of our people. If the Allies come this way, it'll kill many of your people, too. There must be a reason you haven't taken it out yourselves. Consider it a challenge, Fadaban. Carl! <laughs> I heard you uh, talk to an angel. Eventually. Listen now. I have an informant, a man named Dorfman, high up in the Nazi hierarchy. You trust him? Well, Dorfman's been a reliable source before now. Says there's a major ammunition cache in the vicinity of the viaduct. And you want me to destroy it? Need you, I ask. calling Mother Hen. Red Fox calling Mother Hen. Receiving you, Red Fox. American observation aircraft crashed over Regalino. Design is top secret. Vital you find pilot and recover aerial footage. Also, destroy plane wreckage. Out. Red Fox out. Question is, how? Oh. 
That's loud enough to disguise my rifle fire. Okay, so our map for this mission and we've got one primary objective and a ton of optional ones. All right. German checkpoints to clear, two of them. Destroy a transport depot, an armored car, and some ammo caches. And that's our main objective there, along with a few more optional ones here. Okay, so you can choose whatever path you want, but uh, I've decided to go towards those checkpoints first and get straight into the action and hunt me down some enemies. I hope to get max skills and all objectives and collectibles in this mission as well. And I'm gonna try to get those areas cleared off one by one. Oh, some suppressed ammo and sound cover as well. Yeah, this is already getting giving me those Rambo vibes with the forest setting and all. I'm a big 80s action movie buff. I mean, I love movies now. I mean, they're awesome, uh, but there's just something else about action movies back in those days. I mean, uh, not much CGI, just good old-fashioned live action stunt work. Pretty amazing. Big fan. And this game is as good as an action film. I can tell you that. Oh. There's one there. Target number one. Let's get this dude. And that's one. I love playing the first two campaigns and uh, I have a feeling this one is going to be bigger, better and much more fun. Already looking at the map and the list of objectives, I mean, it's going to be a huge mission. A lot of different... Oh, this is one there. Nice clean shot. A lot of different locations and areas to explore and... Uh, requires some good planning and a uh, combination of stealth and sniping. I, f I feel there's going to be much more sniping in this mission than the previous ones. Oh shucks. Did he just spot me through the other side of the house? Damn, he spotted me. No chance. I thought he was at quite a distance away from me. I mean, it's... I didn't think he'd spot me from that far away.
Okay, so that's our first collectible, Letters from Home. Need to deal with that checkpoint. That big gun is really gonna come in handy, you know, for making our shots. We're just gonna have to wait for the right timing. Or just use your suppressed ammo. I mean, if you feel that you need to get a shot in quick. A lot more foliage in this game to hide as well, so that's going to be useful. Jaeger troops. Bomb isn't taking any chances. Things tougher for the Nazis. Again, this is uh, turning out to be an absolutely awesome looking game. Great graphics, man. Just the lighting, the um, texturing work is just amazing. Another one, a duty roster. Okay, um. That's a couple of guys there. I think we should get them. Okay, let's make our way there and search those bodies. And I think that's where the second check post is. Oh, shucks. More enemies here. I think I'm gonna have to come back to this area to dispose of them. It's just great fun to play a game like this, which is uh, which ticks off all the right marks, you know. Let us to home. One more collectible. Just, just all the right tick marks, you know. 
great gameplay, great graphics, amazing controls, and uh, nothing else to find. Just overall, extremely satisfying and. Uh, And of course, I mean, uh, this is one of those games you can play more than once, a couple of times in fact, you know, like, it's tremendously uh, replayable and you can do it differently every single time you play, you know. You can also play it, of course, on more harder difficulty modes if you're braver than I am. Sound. There's a gun here, apparently. Oh, there it is. And that takes care of the gun for now. So movement is apparently much easier in this mission because of all the hiding places. But still, uh, it seems like there are a lot more enemies and a lot more area and ground to cover. Can't wait to get to that big gun and blow it up. Oh shucks. He popped out of nowhere. Four yellow dots, so you're all alerted. Oh man, they're all on their way. No more to find here. Whoa! I just got two of them uh, with a single shot. That was crazy. And lucky man. Yeah, it's pretty dope. Uh, let's get this officer here. He's hiding.
Is he stuck on the railing there? Nothing else. Wow. Okay, it's a miscellaneous document. Another collectible. Okay, one checkpoint cleared. Let's get that another one. I figured with my strategy, you know, to get to the denser areas which are more heavily guarded and clear them off first would be advantages. And there it is. Awesome. Alright. That, that was just awesome. So clearing off the more heavily guarded areas is um, going to be helpful, I feel, in uh, moving around the place, you know, in case you have to kind of like double back and move from one location to the other. And uh, so I guess that's the strategy I took on this one. But you know, you can go about in any way you want. I mean, whatever works for you. This is just uh, one way of doing it and uh, hopefully will help you uh, get another perspective. Where's that gun? Oh, damn. Missed the window there. A panther turn. Nasty. So that's called a panther turn. Straight in the head. Man, I just love those X ray kill cams. Okay, so our first main optional objectives cleared the two checkpoints. I can't wait to get my hands on Sniper Elite 5 and start playing it. Because the reviews are amazing, I mean... Um, they're just loving it. And that should be fun and exciting. I haven't decided if that's the game I'd like to uh, do a gameplay of immediately after this, but I know for sure I'm playing I'm playing that one right after this. Let's blow this up.
Okay, so that wasn't that part of our objective, but it's got us some extra XP. You find one of these things in a mission, you gotta blow them up anyways. Cannot leave them lying around. Okay, so I think uh, in this part we're going to need to hide these bodies because uh, I believe the armored car makes its rounds from this area and uh, just don't want the driver to be alerted seeing any bodies lying around and uh, I don't remember the exact timing but um, it takes some time to uh, for it to kind of like uh, return back to this location so we're gonna have to figure out a way to destroy it and of course we can use um, one of many items in our inventory we can use uh, some TNT if you have any we can use mines a stick grenade you gotta stop the car first and then uh, destroy it or maybe try to get the driver uh, snipe the driver and then blow it up that's another letters to home okay so this is this is the road that the, that the car is gonna come through and um, okay so that's a telemine and uh, we're gonna basically place it on the road and uh, when there's gonna be pressure by the car passing through it's gonna blow it up and force it to stop and that should give us the uh, opportunity to destroy it and there it is our first dead eye of this mission the stone eagle so while we are waiting for the car to come by let's get this out of the way target practice again that's one all right there it is okay Armored car is bad news. maybe I should deal with it Another optional objective out of the way and let's make our way up to the transport depot. I'm sure this place is going to be crawling with enemies. And I'm going to have to move fast here.
Can I get him with that truck? Let's try. One more thing taken care of. Another duty roster. Okay, so we gotta make our way towards that ammo cache now. Trucks carrying ammo have to stop it. Man, that place looks crawling with enemies. Oh, 
there's a sniper there. I gotta get him. Yeah, that was important to get him first. Because uh, that's the place we gotta get to and uh, with his vantage point overlooking that entire area uh, things would get pretty tricky moving around there. This will come in very useful. Oh, that's another collectible there. Letters from home. Okay, so that's two of them. You gotta destroy both. Some areas you gotta take your time and move slowly and carefully and other places you gotta just Ooh. His helmet flew off. So other places you gotta kinda like move fast, you know I just not stick to one position, just keep relocating. Is that one guy or did I just see another one running behind him? Nasty. Oh, there's the one. There's the guy I was talking about. Ooh! Damn. I just hit that crate. <laughs> kind of like hovered in space for a, for a brief second or so. Okay, so I think we can get that guy within 
environment kill you know he's, he's standing he's perched on this yeah i think we can get that this should be interesting watch him fall oh that guy didn't know what hit him and nothing did apparently Seems Weaver's informant was right. That must be the main ammo store. Better deal with it. It's time to move. First one. Nice work if I say so myself. Hmm. You gotta keep searching the bodies uh, in case you find something. I believe there is one here who has a collectible. So you gotta make sure to track and search as many as you can. find more bodies as one yep last letters one more collectible and I believe near that house we should find our second dead eye where is it there it is number two all right let's go get some more guys fast
missed the first time. Getting sloppy there. And that's our first sniper report. And I believe there's another sniper uh, on that bridge near the main big gun. Man, that gun looks huge. And there he is. Let's get this sucker. Drum there, I believe. Can I get both of them? Yep. Man, those slow-mo kill camps. This rock. One of the amazing great things about this game. Along with a lot of others. Another collectible. Right, so that is the area where we're going to have to place our saddle charge for bringing up the bridge. And all these guys here, we gotta tag them because we're going to get to that spot soon enough. And I think we're going to have to snipe these guys right from here. Of course, you can also choose to go into that part below the bridge and try to take them out one by one but I think I'm gonna practice my sniping from here on this one right let's get a little bit back up there near that generator for some sound cover and Whoa! He just keeled over. This is the fun part. Mm. 
like sitting ducks. Okay, so now they are scattered all over the place. Alert mode. No chance. They've got no chance. This is the part of the game I really love the most. Multiple kills from one location. One by one. Come get some. Yep, I think that takes care of everyone below the bridge. Let's get these guys on the other side of that cliff there. Great, I think we've cleared off the immediate area and I think we should now make a move towards the tracks and that bridge. Okay guys, I think this is a good place to end part 1. I hope you had fun watching this video. Please click on the link at the end to watch part 2 for more fireworks and action. And if you've been enjoying my videos, please also keep supporting with your likes, shares, comments and subscribes. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you soon in part 2. Till then, take care, keep rocking and peace out here from Scatplay.